Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net, and I am here with Kent Smith from LSI, and we are here to talk about the Sandforce controllers and SSD controllers in general. Kent, can you tell us a little bit more about what you do here at LSI? Sure, I'm the uh, Senior Director of Outbound Marketing for LSI, and specifically I focus on the Sandforce uh, controllers and the technology we have. So when, when consumers are looking at the SSD market today, you obviously see various capacities on the drives, 240 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes. We've talked a little bit about over-provisioning uh, and how that affects capacity and why it's important. Can you tell us more about over-provisioning and why uh, consumers should care about it? Absolutely. It's a, it's a very misunderstood concept. Over-provisioning is very important because the, the capacity that the SSD has in spare, or that which is over-provisioned, is very important during garbage collection. And so if an SSD is giving all the capacity to the user, there's no spare area for it to do its recycling. And what happens is it slows down in that period. So if you take a small portion of the user space, let's say 7%, you can typically get back a much larger improvement in performance, usually on the order of 20% or more. And in fact, last year at the Flash Memory Summit, I did a whole presentation just on this very topic. And so that's uh, actually available online and you can look at your, your, uh, um, uh, your users could look at that and uh, see more details behind that. Um, but also, you know, just on the client side, typically you'll have like a 7% difference. But to, to really understand how much you can improve performance, an enterprise SSD will oftentimes take as much as 28% of that user space and give it in the form of over-provisioning. So instead of 256 gigs, you might see a 200 gigabyte drive. And so, you know, a lot of people say, hey, you're stealing gigabytes from me. You know, and it, it's funny when I see that because those enterprise SSDs are tremendously higher in performance. You know, a 28% uh, reduction in user space could equate to a 50% or higher performance improvement. So users shouldn't think they're losing anything. They're getting it in speed and performance. And that's really the reason for SSDs in the first place. So one of the key differentiators for Sandforce, from what I understand, is DuraWrite. And uh, can you tell us a little bit more about this technology and what it does and why it's relevant to consumers? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, DuraWrite is actually a very uh, unique feature for Sandforce controllers, uh, introduced back when we first introduced our first controller. And uh, again, just like uh, over-provisioning, a lot of people don't really understand what it's doing and, and how it benefits users. Uh, the entropy, which is kind of the, the randomness of the data, uh, if you have a relatively low entropy file, you can reduce its size on the SSD. And so the advantage of that is directly related to what we were just talking about for over-provisioning. So if I had, let's say, uh, 50 gigabytes worth of data and I could make it physically fit into 25 gigabytes, I then have another 25 gigabytes of over-provisioning. And we were just talking about how you can take a little amount of user space and it translates into a huge performance gain. And that also is what DuraWrite's doing. So they're very interrelated. And so if you had uh, an SSD with uh, relatively typical entropy, you can gain a tremendous performance advantage. And so that's what a lot of uh, benchmarks show. When you, when you run them with some of the real world benchmarks, you see a lot of real world entropy. And so that's really what you're gonna see when you get the drive and start using it on its own. Uh, if you take a, a more synthetic benchmark, it depends on how much entropy that benchmark has. So if it's not very compressible, if it's completely randomized data, the benchmark is gonna look pretty bad on a Sandforce drive. And so people will say, oh, see, that's what I could expect. My data is all you know, high entropy. I have a lot of MPEG data. The SSD is generally comprised of a combination of different entropy types especially when it's your boot drive. So if you have a system, you're booting from that SSD, the operating system itself takes a lot of capacity and that uh, has a, a, a huge advantage with DuraWrite. So a lot of your capacity is already gonna, already gonna be condensed and even if you were to give 100% 
uh, entropy after that on top of the OS, you're still going to have quite a bit of gain. So again, if you if you take benchmarks that uh, synthetically are just looking at high entropy data, you're never going to actually see that in the real world. So DuraWrite is a huge advantage for uh, for SSDs. Uh, all the Sandforce SSDs have that capability, and you know when you test with a real world benchmark, you can really see its advantages. Um, there's another area that's really important for SSDs, and that's uh, write amplification. And there's, there's again, a, a lot of people that are sort of confused over that whole area. And so write amplification, first introduced by uh, uh, um, Intel and uh, uh, other companies back in the uh, early, um, early 2009, and then later Sandforce introduced a write amplification of actually less than one. And so... The idea behind write amplification is you send so much information to a hard disk drive and that data is written directly to the hard disk drive. So it doesn't have an idea of a write amplification because what gets read uh, from the host to the hard disk drive is written directly. On an SSD, because it's using NAND flash, it has to be moved around during what's called garbage collection. And so the, the problem is that when you write from the host to the SSD, you actually have to move that data multiple times. So you're writing in an amplified form. So what you write to the flash is many times greater than what you wrote uh, from the host. And so you get this write amplification factor. Now there's many things that affect it. When you write sequentially, you can keep a relatively low write amplification. When you write randomly, you get a really high number. Now, most people wouldn't care about this except SSDs have a limited write cycle because of the flash memory. So the more times you write to it, the, the shorter its life will be. So you want to keep your write amplification down as low as possible. Now, in general, you can't really control it. You know, there's not things you can do, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop writing certain data. Yeah, that would be ridiculous. What's the point of that? So what you need is technologies that can take advantage of it. And in fact, the, uh, the LSI Sandforce uh, technologies, like DuraWrite, have a huge advantage in this area. The capability of DuraWrite uh, can actually reduce the write amplification less than one. Uh, because of its data reduction technology, you write less data in the first place. So then when you're garbage collecting and it's moving that data around, it takes actually quite a bit of time before it ever equates to the original size. And so you have a huge advantage. Your drives last much longer. And again, that's only available if you're using a, uh, an LSI Sandforce controller in your SSD.